welcome back to another episode of our weekly review show. A much smaller episode this week with just the one game from across our three teams to look back on. And that was the first team's trip to Merthyr Town last Saturday. A big thanks to the host of the Easter footage and here's the best of the action. City had the ball in the back of the Merthyr Town net inside seven minutes as Rocky Neal rounded the keeper and tapped home. But the offside flag was quickly raised. The host then saw a shot cannon off the underside of the crossbar. before Neil was picked out by Ollie Haste in the box, but he blazed a shot high over the bar. Finley Crass was then forced to block a shot on the line after defensive mix up at the back. Murphy broke the deadlock nine minutes before the break as Ricardo Rees slid the ball home at the far post. They came close again on the brink of half time, but the shot went narrowly wide at the far post. Truro equalised four minutes into the second half. Tyler Harvey hit a brilliant free kick past the keeper to make it 1-1. Harvey Greenslade then had a scuff shot cleared before Kyle Egan's strike was deflected for a corner. Fraser Thomas restored the host lead on 70 minutes as he rounded Heyman to slot home. Substitute Matt Wright was then shown his marching orders receiving a straight red card for descent. City came close to potentially snatching a point, but Greenslade was denied by a great save by the keeper as City slipped to their third consecutive away defeat. So a disappointing performance and a poor result for the White Tigers as they slipped to a 2-1 away defeat to Murphy Town last weekend. We now hear the thoughts of manager Paul Watton who gave his honest assessment of the game. 2-1 defeat at Murphy, your thoughts on that one mate? I thought it was an unacceptable performance from us. Uh, I think they've let the club down today. I think they've let themselves down. First half, especially that's, that's that's something that I haven't witnessed this season. Um, <clears throat> lack of desire, lack of lack of uh, will to win, lack of fight. No one sprinting, walking around the football pitch. Get got absolutely mauled. First half, and Murphy could have been four new up. Second half we score and we make a little bit more of a go of it, but just conceding that's a horrific goal, so it's a tough one to take for me today. That, that's, um, that doesn't, <clears throat> that, that, that's not a Paul Watton team playing like that. That's, that's not what we, that's not what's got us where we have this season. Um, and that's a quiet change room, and it should be quiet because uh, I thought we were. And it's lack of discipline at the end. There's a couple of like obviously the red card and a couple of bookings as well. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. You know, you, you need 11 players on the pitch. So it was hard enough today with 11, let alone 10. So, I mean, right, he's apologised, but apology don't don't mean nothing. And like obviously only one one nil down at half time, but you had you, you equalised early in the second half. A good free kick from Tyler, and he obviously went off injured after that. But it. Did you feel like you, you got back into the game? Obviously, won all you back in the game, but do you feel like you push on from there? Or no, not today. I never thought we would. Uh, it was yeah, it was a good strike from Ty. Um, uh, we had, we huffed and puffed out a few half chances. I just thought we lacked severely lacked urgency to do anything today, to defend, to attack, and I have no answer for that. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was. Object at best. But and obviously a week now until Bracknell got a couple of training sessions. I think it's we're going to have to be well dead on it to get anything there, aren't we? With the form they're in, they're the informed team, aren't they? In the league, you know they're flying. Um, we've got to play them twice in ten days. Um, and if we play anything like we did today, we're taking absolute dirt. 
Tough games for all three of our teams this coming weekend. The first team travel to Berkshire to take on Bracknell Town in the Southern League Premier South, second against third in that one, while the reserves are in action on Saturday as well as they travel to Mousel Development in the St Piran League, looking to increase their lead at the top of the table. The under-18s are also in action this coming weekend on Sunday when they take on Torpoint Athletic Youth in the DGM League Cup. Kickoff there is 2 o'clock at Calliworth College. So plenty of football to keep your eyes on concerning Truro City this weekend. For action and reaction from all of those games, make sure you tune into next week's show. I've been Cameron Weldon, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.